I'm Angie Umpleby, and I'm looking forward to working with you when you call me at 352-361-8359. That's 352-361-8359. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock, and uh, I suppose you would say this is an overcast kind of a morning. It doesn't look as as blue as as, uh, we would like it to be, but there's only about a 50% or less than a 50% chance we'll see rain. And and again, today it shows you, shows us, and the weather forecast thing you hear, um, this afternoon is when we should see rain. But it's overcast right now, so it just looks like that. Oh, 70% now it went up to. Galen, you know this on the phone. I can't figure it out, Galen. I, I don't know what's going on with the weather, man. Good morning, Galen. How you doing? Hey, good morning, Larry. Robin, how are y'all? Pretty good. Where are you right now? Uh, just on my way back down to uh, Pasco County today. Oh, gosh. Got to go back down there. What's going on down there? Uh, just working with some accounts down there, doing some, uh, uh, trying to just open up a new territory for us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, you know, I was thinking about what you all do at Life South and how so many businesses are um, becoming robotized um, or, or automated. I don't think that'll happen with Life South. Or do you, I mean, do you disagree? Do you think there'll be a time when we just go in and there's not even a phlebotomist, a human phlebotomist, there's just a machine that goes zzz, 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 and, they, and just takes your blood? They, they've, uh, well, they've tried to create them. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, uh, phlebotomy, the, the hospitals use it a whole lot more, and, and the, that staff a whole lot more than we do. Um, they've tried it. it it's just, um, it's one of those things that are just not there yet. But we, we try with, uh, you know, what we call automation um, in a lot of our areas, especially in our manufacturing side, it's, it's something we're really looking into because, and it's not just about the people, it's about the consistency of the product. A machine, a machine can do the same thing over and over and over again, exactly. Whereas a human just doesn't have that ability. So, but I'm, okay, um, so, so and, and that's something we're definitely looking at. All right, so that sounds like the machine, for lack of a better way to explain it or, or ask it, it, that sounds like the machine has a way to know exactly where the vein is, whereas the phlebotomist kind of taps on it and pumps it up and all that other stuff. Yeah, well, the, now, I, I we're years and years and years away from uh, a ro- robotic phlebotomist. Um, the one I saw that they had on trial, what they did is, is they didn't actually do the, the, the stick itself. or they, they did the stick, but the phlebotomist or the technician had to line it up with the vein. And so you, you, they shot this, like, uh, laser pointer. Oh, really? Where the vein was, and then they did it, which didn't really... It's no different than a whole bottom. Uh-huh. That's yeah. what I saw. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're right. They're trying to identify the vein. I know they try to do it with like the pulse and the different different temperatures within the body. They yeah. just haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm just curious about one thing. Do you think it's easier to find the vein on a person who is is working out more uh, all the time somebody who's more physically fit than let's say me <laughs> it's, it seems like they have a hard time finding my vein and alex looks like his veins are real easy to find because and he's a workout guy he's working out all the time yeah it's not even close yeah absolutely oh, okay so that or uh yeah and people who aren't hydrated uh, are make it incredibly tough because what happens is your your veins are deeper. Whereas you're working out, first of all, your veins are more developed uh, because you're actually pushing more blood through them. Therefore, they're they're healthier. Um, there's a there's a million reasons why you should work out, and that, that's just a small one. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm told that my veins are tiny, so they have a hard time. Sometimes they have such a hard time, my arm bruises. Need to work out. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's, it's it's water. It's your hydration level. Um, it's your uh, how active you are, what kind of shape you're in. Yeah, I mean, you you can absolutely improve the, the how how thick the thickness of your vein. More absolutely. walking in our future. There you go. To the Chelsea, you'll be walking. Well, it's walking, you, but you have to work your arms too. I mean, you, you, you know, and walking mm. is good cardiovascular but uh, walking, he, walking he, he and climbing more than that mm-hmm. did you see that guy who saved the kid hanging from the that. balcony by the way i did yeah the oh, cop, oh my OPD guy. gosh yeah. that guy was amazing <laughs> yeah. talked him down yeah it's fantastic that was an amazing an amazing story just just a, an amazing yeah, like, beautiful story too yeah when i when i read it i'm like man that going home for that guy it was so much better than it could have been 
Because I, I have a feeling that's one that would just stick with you if it went the wrong way. You know, oh, yeah, right, right. About, yeah. about and, and saying what, what, what if, but yeah. thank God that uh, it went right. What do you call him, five stories? I think he climbed five balconies, right? Yeah, yeah I think so. Something like that, yeah. 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 Some morning. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, I couldn't climb Crazy. one. No, I, I couldn't get up the oh. stairs. Oh, my gosh. Uh, no, he's not using stairs. He's not using stairs. Yeah, he's, no, the balcony. You yeah, said he's he, pulling himself. Yeah. Like Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. I bet he's got yeah. good veins. I bet he has great veins. Physically fit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll bet you he does. All right, let's uh, take a phone call. Good morning. Thank you for calling in for waiting. You're on the air with Galen Unold. Yeah, see where that Spider-Man did that wonderful thing. They offered him a job in the fire department. Is that true oh. or is that a joke? No. No, that's the truth. Oh, it is true. In wow. France. Wow. Oh, hey, uh, real quick, uh, you know, you, you do wonderful work, and your, your your line of business is a great, great thing to society. Do you get a property tax exemption, like let's say a church would? <laughs> do you get a property? Yeah, we're, we're a nonprofit. Yeah, we're a nonprofit. Yeah. Hmm. yeah we're a five hundred three C. There you go. So I guess now that sounds like a yes. Okay, thank you. Interesting question. Yeah. So maybe I'll open up a blood place. There you go. Get, get tax relief. Trust me. Hey, hey we have no money in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't make anything. Let, let me see. Uh, the topic today is um, a continuation of a topic we had quite some time ago. Yes. It's about vending machines and the interesting things you can buy from vending machines in mm -hmm. today's world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, there is there is no blood donating vending machine, by the way. Now, I bet not. <laughs> uh, not not donation side, but they do make one that is kind of a donation, uh, what do you kind mean? of a vending machine really? in, in, a, in the hospitals. So they have this machine, and, and they use it in trauma centers, where you have to enter in the patient information, and then it dispenses a unit of blood. It's kind of like a vending machine. So yeah, yeah, oh. it's it, but it's really a blood refrigerator that they use and oh. store it. <laughs> okay. In the hospitals, how much? It's, it's pretty incredible. How much money do you have to deposit? <laughs> <laughs> well, they just bill it to the patient. But yeah, it's oh, a, that it's is... a, and that way they can. So in a trauma situation where, you know, they may go through, you know, eighty-five to a hundred blood products within an, you know, a, a time span. Uh, this way, they could track every one they use without having the nurse to stop and scan it and scan mm. the band and you know it just makes everything go faster right so that is and you can also keep a record of wow. it wow oh, it's that a is really neat. cool machine and, and do we have yeah i saw one in in, in, in the first the first time and i was like wow it's a vending machine wow it's literally a vending machine and yeah, is, it is this cool. all over the the southeast or just in a few locations uh they're only only you, you have to have a trauma center so the one I saw was in, uh, I mean, I've seen them all over, but the, the first one I saw was in Children's Hospital of Atlanta, but they have them. They have uh, them in Jacksonville. I know my wife wants one here in Ocala. At the, uh, oh, so, oh, I hope oh, so. So the, people who work, so the people who work in the health profession, are they, they see a benefit to that. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah? It's just a very expensive machine because of what it has to do. So, yeah, wow. it's, a, it's a refrigerator. Where you enter in all the information and it dispenses a unit of blood. It's got a cool. Well, I hope I don't and find myself. And then you take the blood and you put it in the patient. I hope I don't find myself needing blood, but I would love to be able to say that. Hey, would you mm -hmm. go to the vending machine? I need another pint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, no, I don't want to say that. I don't <laughs> hey, uh, by the but way. You wouldn't say it, by the way. When you're in a trauma situation, you're not talking. <laughs> no, nah, that's true. That's true. Very real, yeah. By, by the way, have you uh, gone to a Publix in any of the other states besides Florida? Have you gone to the Publix in Georgia, yeah. for example? Yeah. Sure. You know there's no scale yeah. in that Georgia, one. Alabama, Tennessee. There's no scale. Uh, you know, there there are, there's a there's several that there are no scales. Uh, if you go into the Grand Oaks, which is the I think the newest one in Marion County, they don't have a scale there. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah. They have one. Yeah. Yeah. According to the Grand Oaks across from Blessed Trinity? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where it is then. Yeah, right. As soon as you go in the door. I'm not sure yeah. now. I'm, I'm questioning myself. I'm not sure. Maybe. Uh, and, and I don't know whether, if there's one over in the, uh, one over by Jervy Gant. What is that one called? Uh, 
We call it the Grace Public School. Yeah, I've never been to that one, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. That one doesn't have one either. Okay. Uh, Oh. Yeah, Yeah. I don't think that one has one either. Well, Well, we're on a mission Well, according to the 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 Tampa Bay Times, every Publix in Florida has a scale. So I'm just going to go back okay. with this. I, I don't know where it is. All right. uh, now, now, next time I go All in there, I'll have to see if it's there. All right. That's uh, my mission. Too. But, but anyway, so the article is interesting because it, it, it points out that the scale at Publix is is more uniquely Florida than Publix itself because... Publix, there was a limited number of scales, and they bought them all up when the company decided to stop making them. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 they, good. and when one breaks down, they have a special place just to refurbish them. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and they don't put them in the other stores in the other states. Just Florida. All right. Pretty amazing. I thought that was an interesting. I, I, never, I never thought that was a... I, never, I guess I never really... Considered that a public thing until you said it. I didn't either. Until it was the article that got me thinking about it. And what was interesting is what the employees have. They have different names for the people who weigh themselves. They have the pickpocket. That's the guy who takes the keys out because he thinks it's actually going to change his weight. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that too. Uh, they they have the prankster. And that's the one who stands behind the person being weighed, pushing his foot down on it mm-hmm. to give a false reading. <laughs> which that that was me. I think they saw me doing that. Uh, what was the other ones? Uh, oh, there was the shy one, the ones who don't want anybody to see them getting on it, so they wait till everybody's passed, and then they go on it real quick. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Others take off their shoes and socks. And then there's Robin, who weighs her luggage before going on an airplane. That's right. The most accurate <laughs> scale I know. 50 pounds, or else you got to pay for anything over 50, so... <laughs> Uh, Not a bad idea. So, all right, all right. Um, where, how, uh, the, how is the blood supply? By the way, I, I mean, what, do, what do you think the average age of the person who weighs themselves? Like eleven? You know, every kid you would go in there and go, "Man, I hope I gained ten pounds." At least I did. <laughs> that was a little kid. That's funny. Well, there was uh, there was somebody in the article who said, "I finally reached the age where I don't feel a need to weigh myself anymore." Oh my! Every, every time I go in, there. yeah. So somebody was saying that after you reach a certain age, you're not you don't care. <laughs> I still care. <laughs> Robin still cares. I still care. It's She's me and my luggage. <laughs> me and Robin. Very, very, That's very. Right. Weird. Yeah, what luggage? I haven't. I don't think I've weighed myself in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to go to Publix now and weigh themselves. <laughs> We're going to notice it now. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm curious if the ones you think are don't have them have them or not because I don't. Are, I don't think they do. I. I but that's. That's me. I, I don't think they do. Well, it's in, it, I think it's an, a news article in today, uh, today's uh, Tampa Bay Times. So mm-hmm. if you just go to their website. Oh, uh, maybe in the Tampa area because they've been in Tampa a long time. No, long, no, no, long. no. It says the whole state. Yeah, well, I, I'll, I'll have to go and look now. Yes, it was uh, It was published yesterday. Christopher Spata wrote it. S-P-A-T-A. Um, well, we're going to have to email her and ask her. <laughs> All right. Um, how is the blood supply? Uh, again, we're we're right at a three and a half day blood supply. We're just we just need more. We need people to get out there, give the gift of life, and donate blood. Donate out blood. Of mind. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I have um, the the vending machines in. Uh, let's see, a, a a luxury used car dealership in Autobahn opened a fifteen story car vending machine in Singapore. It's actually a car. Vending machine. Wow, <laughs> for rental or to buy? Well, we talked the ones. We talked about the ones in Japan that that's, had them. That's I know right. they were in Japan before. Yeah. Yeah. So. So this is. Uh, it, oh my gosh! It's the, okay. It's three five-story vending machine. They're five stories tall. Okay. Well, you know the issue in in you know it's I've been to Singapore is there's just no room, so you have to go vertical. It's not America is weird because we have these you know car dealerships like you know that take up acres right you know in yeah. acres room you know you just don't have that option you know in 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 an island country like malaysia so it's it's just a unique thing so you have to go vertical and why not make it a vending machine <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right i i think i've never been to a car dealership in new york city like in manhattan but i know they are there um, but I think they rep- they uh, let's see, resemble the ones you're talking about in in Asia. I don't think they have any. Yeah, well, they're probably more vertical. I, yeah. And I'll bet you they're, the, the, you know, in you know they're not in Manhattan because the uh, overhead would be so extreme. 
they're probably out more like, you know, on the long peninsula, I guess is what we're going to call it. Now. <laughs> um, you know, or, or, you know, further out, you know. Yeah. I, I, I doubt. Probably in New Jersey, you know, that's probably where you go to that far. <laughs> yeah, I think Jersey probably has them. Just, they look like the ones in Ocala. Um, all right, cool. Yeah. Clothing is being sold in, in some vending machines. Uh, there are vending machines be, being set up in malls in the United States, in airports in the United States. Um, there you go. Just buy a new jacket or a new shirt, whatever it is you need. Just get it from a vending yeah, machine. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, your overhead is, is a lot less and it could just sit there. I mean, I, I, I've, I've been stuck in an airport for almost three days, so... I would have bought something. I would have bought a shirt out of the vending machine at that point. So, good point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can imagine that. That's three days. Wow, the most I ever did was one day. Especially if it's just a you know like a t-shirt or something that you want to buy somebody just to say that you were in that in yeah, that yeah. area. You know. So. Oh, here's one. Um, this is an oyster vending machine. Oh my! <laughs> wouldn't buy oysters out of a vending machine. <laughs> no, no, wouldn't even buy them from a restaurant. I just not my favorite. Oysters oh, I love oysters. Love oysters. Cooked or raw? I wouldn't buy one from a vending machine. Yes, I like them all. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, in yeah, in I, I, yeah, absolutely love them raw. In London and Las Vegas. You can put a $20 bill into a vending machine and buy a bottle of champagne. Oh, nice. Do you get change? It's a cheap bottle. Is that considered cheap? I was just, <laughs> just going to ask that. Uh, it doesn't, uh, I don't know. I bought cheaper. <laughs> what? I bought cheaper. You oh, know, really? It's, it's, it's just like, you know, for just special occasions. And why spend a lot of money? Because everybody's just going to sip it and anyway, you know. Oh, okay. I don't you know. It's really a special do. occasion. <laughs> but do you want to spend more money on a special occasion? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, you, go. you can get eggs from a vending machine. Oh, my. Find the eggs. Um, chicken. Scrambled? <laughs> Wonder how it drops. I mean, are boiled? I don't know. Oh man, those—they have that all figured out now. I mean, I, I don't oh. think it would be raw. Yeah. I think you'd have to have been prepared in some way. Yeah. I would be bad if I was hungry. Uh, Why not? It's a, what is that egg that the TJ liked that he introduced us to? The Dutch egg. Yeah, I think it was the. I I can't remember now. It was in England. Yeah. And it had a name for it. Boy, was it ever good. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't remember, remember, it. remember the it's name of Dutch the egg. It's a Dutch egg or something, yeah. The thing is, it's a, the, the menu said it feeds four, and it was like the size of an egg. Yeah. <laughs> four what? No. Four chipmunks? <laughs> All right. Uh, pizza comes from a vending machine now. Little Caesars pizza portals vending machines are sure. now showing up around sure. the country. Wow. Little Caesars sure. pizza. Is it hot? Do they dispense it hot? It is or, hot. or is there a microwave next it to it? It is hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It is hot. That's a good idea. I'd buy that. Um, sprinkle cake, sprinkle, the Sprinkle Cupcake ATM, found in 15 locations in the United States, dispenses cupcakes and cookies uh, in the vending machine. Ooh, I'd be afraid the cupcake would break. How do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, the way they release them is completely different. You're, you're thinking of like the one with a spiral and it they just falls to the bottom. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite like that. It's a little more advanced than that. I gotta find one of those. Oh, here's one. Makeup. Uh, makeup is sold through vending machines. That's a good idea. Makeup brands Benefit and Sephora each have kiosks in airports and the United States. That's a good idea. They're expensive, too. Sephora is very expensive. Really? Galen? Yeah. Any ideas on this subject? I, I had nothing. This is, this is really an area that men have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an area. We just don't know anything about it. Uh, and I, I say that knowing that some men do. Okay, yeah, I know you do. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Ta a tattoo vending machine. <gasps> oh, my. What now? Tattoo for a hundred dollars. I get it, but how, how do you do that? Uh, okay, I'm reading it. It says uh, Dallas-based tattoo parlor Elm Street Tattoos vending machines will dispense a random design for one hundred dollars, but then you'll have to find an artist to do the actual tattoo work. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Why in the world would you spend a hundred bucks on I this know. For a random tattoo? I know that's crazy. Yeah, just go to a tattoo artist. 
Wow. No, how, how drunk do you have to be to say, <laughs> hey, hold my beer? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. And then the, you have to go find the guy. What's the difference? I'm sure. It's, I know. I, I, don't, I mean, how many how many styles of barbed wire do you need? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a company in Phoenix called American Green, and they have a weed vending machine. Yeah. yeah you, have to set, you have to set up an account and use your fingerprint to identify yourself in order to buy it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That makes sense. But it's just medical. It's for <clears throat> medical reasons. That makes a lot of sense. By the way, John Morgan, the attorney down in Orlando, is on the news yesterday and today um, trying to appeal to the Governor Scott to legalize the smoking of marijuana. Okay? Now, okay. Now, whether you're for that or not is not my point. He is saying that police will never go to a home with a domestic dispute in a, in a family that uses marijuana. Alcohol is more likely to cause a family dispute than marijuana because marijuana will mellow you out. That's what he says, mm-hmm. right? Right. <clears throat> but I would argue, Your Honor, <laughs> <laughs> that marijuana will make you so lazy you're not going to go to work and then you're going to lose your house. Any, right, exactly. Any, anybody want to challenge me on this one? No. Galen, have you seen this? Oh, I think it's, a, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I, I think, well, I think Morgan's got other issues about marijuana, but no. I, I don't, I don't, but those are so extreme, I, I don't think either one of them is true. He makes good points. I'm not discounting everything he says, but, but to make it seem that the, per, first of all, alcohol and marijuana used in moderation are probably okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, marijuana is what? Uh, it's it's a thousand times less addictive than alcohol. Okay, okay, but what he but but if you've ever known a pothead, somebody who is, I guess you could say, addicted to or habitually related to <laughs> somebody yeah. who somebody who uses marijuana all the time, you've known. Have you ever known somebody? Yes, sure, they, but they were lazy before they. they before I don't they know. Started. I don't know about that. I just know that they are pretty much okay with not working. Yeah, exactly. They're yeah, lazy. They don't I, want I, to I, I understand your point. I mean, I, I, I think that's a, again, that's an extreme case. But there right. are two alcoholics who right. But right. I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't mind that. I, I, I hope they legalize pot. Let's just move on. I, I do too. So I do it, too. It, I'm just, I'm just arguing the argument. I mean, to say that somebody who gets gets into a domestic dispute because of alcohol means you're, you're referring to somebody who's abusing alcohol. Yeah. So somebody who abuses marijuana may not get into a fight with his wife, but he's not going to go to work, and then they're going to live on the street. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Just, just saying. <laughs> All right. The last, the last thing you can get from a kiosk or a vending machine is uh, electronics, battery packs, um, mm-hmm. cell phones, etc. Best Buy has set sure. up an express kiosk in airports to buy uh, electronics. A new iPad. Yeah, uh, it's good to see that. It's good to see that these retailers are adapting to a changing environment. You know, because I told by like Toys R Us that's closing. Yes. And I, I just think Toys R Us, their model, they, they never embraced what they could have been, which is, you know, uh, what I think they should have been, you know, 10 years ago, which is the experts in their field. And instead, they were just trying to be a normal retailer. And, and yeah. that's just not going to work. I, I think what you mm-hmm. just said is the same reason why Sears is going under, the same reason why Kmart went under. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, exactly. Well, Sears and Kmart are owned by the same people, but right, absolutely. Right. And and uh, you know, for example, uh, and and I'll, if you go into uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, you you know, you walk in and somebody can help you. If you go into like Ace, they're going to help you even more. You know, like the home home value, home true value, or whatever. Oh yeah. No, they're going to walk you through your... every step because they know they're competing against these big box stores and everything else. And that's the, I think that's what's going to make retail survive is that customer service where you're getting expert advice. Um, because if not, then people are going to on YouTube and then they're going to click the Amazon button and done. Yeah, right. Oh, yes, exactly. That's why Amazon is winning. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, good point. All right, where, uh, where's the blood mobile today? Hey, Bloodmobile today is at Palm Chevrolet. Uh, they don't have vending machines. They have vending machines, but I don't think you can buy a car out of it. <laughs> you can go and 
uh, you know, give, get the flight to donate blood and buy a car. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I didn't do the How ads. American is that? That's, That's very American. American right there. Bon, uh, thank you, Palm Garden of Ocala. Go to Palm Garden. They have skilled nursing for your health and rehabilitative needs. Please see them and take a tour at 2700 Southwest 34th Street. And Penn Flooring, thank you. Go to their shop, at, their showroom at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. Get some new flooring for your home or office. Thank you, Galen. Have a good day. You guys are the best. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. They had dinner last night, and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo meets again today with a.